What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw a Tweety Bird. Now you want to begin today's lesson in the center of the page with the beak. Let's start on the left side. We're going to add a curve coming down and then up towards the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw the top of the beak. We're going to go up and then bend that back down. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the beak. Starting back over on the left, we're not going to come down as far. Let's go back up towards the right. And then we'll add the cheeks along the side. Starting on the left, bend this in towards the beak and then out. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now from the top of the beak, we want to step up and curve the cheeks on top of the eyes. So let's start over on the left with a curve going up. And we'll bend that down. Let's line this up on the right. Going up and down. And then from here, we're going to tuck the eyes in behind the cheeks. Let's start on the outside. We're going to step in, curve out, go all the way up towards the top of the eye. And round this out, come down, and just bend that out on top of the cheek. Let's do the same thing on the right. Go all the way up towards the same height, round out the eye, come down, and then back in. Now let's push the pupils towards the inside of the eyes. Let's start on the left side. We're going to go up, come down, and then in on top of the cheeks. Now you want to trace the pupil along the outside. So we're going to step up, going up, come down, and then in. Let's add three lashes on top of each eye, starting right in the middle, then this out and up. Now I'm gonna move over and draw another one, going out and up. And we'll do that one more time, stepping down. Let's place the eyebrows on top of the eyes with a curve, going up and down. Now that we've drawn the face, let's move out to the side and draw the cheeks coming in towards the neck. From the outside of the cheek, let's step out, curve this around, and I'm just going to pull that in. Let's go over towards the right, going all the way around, and then pulling that in. Now from the top of the cheeks, we want to bend the head, going up and out towards the side. Let's go back to the left side, round up the head, Go up. Now we just want to round up the top of the head in the middle. Going up. And then bring that down towards the right. Now you want to carefully make our way back down towards the bottom. Let's add some hairs along the top of the head. Starting in the middle, step down, go up and out. Now from the top of the head, move over towards the left. And we're going to add two more. Now let's go back and draw the side of the neck. From the bottom of the cheeks, let's step out and bend the neck, coming in and then down. Now you want to leave a gap along the base of the neck on the left side, bend the body going out and then in. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's add a thick fold along the bottom. We're going to step out, curve out, come in, and just bend that up towards the center of the body. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now I'm going to bend the arms back in towards the side of the body. I'm going to start from the base of the neck, bend the shoulder going up, come all the way down, and then bend that in towards the side. Now we're going to leave a gap in between the legs on the left side, draw a straight line coming down towards the heel, and the same thing on the right. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Start from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down, and then up. Let's round out the first toe, go all the way around, and then in. Now along the side, we're gonna add the back toe, going all the way around towards the top, and then we'll just bend that down. Now I'm going to bring the foot coming down and in towards the ankle. 
round up the ankle and just pull that up underneath the legs. And then finally, I'm just gonna add the tail over on the left side and go out and then up. Just pull that back in towards the side of the body. And then we'll finish off with a little bit of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Tweety Bird. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please smash that like button because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.